Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, just a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching these episodes of Power Wash Simulator. Clean the gnome fountain. Why not? Oh, this is from the park warden. Dirt Finder, did you know we're going up in the world? The mayor recently said to me, Warden, we're going up in the world. I'm not currently at liberty to say why or how, but Muckingham needs every potential tourist attraction that it can lay its hands on. Leave no stone unturned, lest it be a jewel, or something to that effect. So I sent my deputy, Earl, out and about to see what he could find, and in less than three weeks he found a sorry-looking fountain near the edge of the middle of the recreation grounds. It urgently needs a splash of your expertise. Do what you can, dirt finder. All right. Got our uh, second gun washer, second most powerful. And it looks like we get a little soap this time. I'll take it. Look at this thing. Oh, well, we've even got our ladder. Let's take a look at our surroundings. Oh, you guys know what I gotta do. Sucker ball! <gasps> oh no. It's disappeared into the bushes. Go! All right, nice, I like it. I like it a lot. We got metal and stone, metal and stone. Let's get our soap and get the metal first. Ooh. Not getting anything off there. It's gonna, it's a gnome fountain for obvious reasons, but what do you think it's made out of? Mm, metal and stone? Oh wait, where's the metal? Because if it's some kind of marble, then we can potentially repurpose it into a new park keeper's lodge. Only if the fountain itself is of insufficient quality, of course. Okay, so that's metal. Hang on, let me go in here and see if I can find some other metal. I hate to use... Uh, This flooring is metal. This thing's metal. The ring is metal. There's very limited metal here. I'm, I'm surprised that they gave me... I'm surprised they gave me metal cleaner for this. Unless I'm missing something obvious here. I'm gonna give a quick splash to all these guys and... Get the rest of the cleaning done on our second pass through. Kinda makes sense that you typically do have this... Um, this washer, the red washer. When you do the first park mission, you usually have enough money to have it upgraded by then. So it does make sense that since we're doing this for the, the park warden, that we would have that same gun. Okay. We've got zero percent cleaned. <laughs> this one might be a bit bigger than I thought. Stone.
All right, that's all the metal that we got. Let's bust out. We might as well use it since we have it. So let's let's go. Again, it didn't look like I had any extensions. I'll check that here in a second, though. We are at 1% cleaned. So big! It's gonna be so big! At least we have a little bit more powerful gun this time. Whoa! I think this is our last one. Boy, this uh, soap did absolutely nothing. Not a single thing. All right, let's get Let's try the green one. I don't know if this is gonna be good enough to get everything or not. Oh, I did say we would check our extensions too. Let's see. Oh, we do have extensions. Okay, cool. Um, let's get this one then. That'll give us a little bit more power. I wonder if there's a lip on this under here. Uh, doesn't really look like it. But just in case we can we can go in a crouched position. I don't think we need to crouch all the all the way down there. Make sure we get all these uh, nice and clean. It is an odd looking fountain. Not even the gnome part of it, just like the stone doesn't really look like good stone. That was a weird sentence, I know. Let's make sure we get in this crevice and make sure that is actually a crevice we need to get. Like the stone in the final one, um, the, it's not called the temple, but it, that's kind of what it is. It's like the temple at the very end. It actually looked like really nice stone. They did a really good job with that. This one so far is just looking kind of strange. But that could just be like, I don't know, maybe the way the light's hitting this specific portion of it. I, I am glad that they do have this in sections. That makes it a lot easier rather than having to go around and clean the whole base and hope you didn't miss a spot somewhere on the other side. Where are you dirty? Oh. You're dirty everywhere. This one does not want to get clean. Okay. 
Wow. Something we'll have to pay attention to moving forward. That one was really stingy on that metal piece. Must have had rust on it, I guess. That rust can be problematic. Is one on a barrel? What's he on? I'll kind of stop and take a peek at this when I get through. See if I can actually put together what they're trying to accomplish here, what they're trying to tell me. If maybe these gnomes go all the way back through all of the other storyline. Such a satisfying game. I love this game so much. Still probably one of my favorite games I've ever played. I've been putting off playing the bonus maps and I still have two more of the um, extension packs, DLCs that I need to play that I haven't played yet. I've been putting it off because I just don't want the game to end. I don't want it to be done with. So That's kind of why I've been delaying I mean, it wouldn't hurt for me just to go back and play it again on my own sometime, I guess. I could play it anytime I wanted to, but just the thought of having everything completed just makes me sad. Why does it look like they're carrying kegs? Are these, are these party gnomes? What's going on here? Okay, I do understand now why they gave us metal cleaner because those decorations are not getting clean at all, but metal cleaner really didn't do a a great job with those, I don't think. What was the point? Why even give me metal cleaner if it wasn't even going to get the stuff clean? There we go. get this side of it over here. He, he is, he's like uh, doing a barrel roll on a keg there. I don't know what's happening. This is one of the stranger ones that I've done. This should be, this might be the last section. Maybe not, maybe there's one more. Um, there you go, there you go. I didn't want to be clean.
surprised that one cleaned itself there. Ooh, what's he doing? Must admit I'm not familiar with this pastime. If you guys understand it, you may have to explain it to me. The next section, and we should be just about done with it, I think. We should be just about back at our starting point. And we got the deco and the base. And we're calling it the outer wall. I guess it is a wall, it's stone. But for a fountain, I'm, I would call it a base. Oh, there's another section. There must be six? Six sections on this? There we go. It's another party gnome. He's having himself a good old time. break out my other extension for those, but I don't know that it would do any good. I'm reaching it just fine. It's just, I'm not going to get all the angles in this first pass around. I may have to get out the ladder, which you guys know I don't like to do. The ladder is probably my least favorite thing to use in this game. Because it just gets in the way. Once you put it down somewhere, you can't move it. Sometimes you just want to pick it up and lay it back down on the ground to get it out of the way, but you can't do that. Probably one of the only things I don't like about the game. It's the ladder mechanic. I didn't realize this one would be so big. We're only at 11%. I didn't think any of these maps would, these bonus maps would be too big. That's all right though. Huh? Having myself a good old time, I ain't gonna complain about it. He's carrying one off to the party. Maybe he's taking it home, saving it for later. Who knows? Double. A double ding. Everybody loves a good double ding. Can't beat the old double ding. There we go. I get these last two ball bases. This so should. Put us right back at, at the beginning, right back where we started. Okay, there's the base. Did we get that? We did. Alright. It's up here. Nice. Oh, hang on. Let's not forget this side. Might as well do that while we're standing here. Spray up this tunic here. 
All right. Um, are we standing on? Yes, we are. These are filthy. We didn't get inside the crevices at all. Let me see. Oh yeah, I can. I, I wasn't sure if I could would be able to reach the top from in here, but I definitely can. So. Interesting. That base is separate. And I do love that these are all individual. You can be sure you're not missing one. There we go. Continue to get this base here. Should have done that with that other gnome. I did not. That's my fault. So I'll have to go back and get him for sure. Whoa, excuse me, too far. You go too far. And one down, a million to go. Got another. Monsieur Gnome. Okay, must have did a bad job on that one, on the other side. Shame on me. Also, I'm realizing that soap really did nothing to help me here. Absolutely nothing. Wondering if you can see like the park, the skate park or the regular park or anything from here. I'm 
That would be pretty cool. I would like it. I like it a lot. Did a bad job on this side too. There's one. There's one. Well, we still got a long way to go. Pick up equipment. What equipment? You mean the ladder? I want to pick that up? I'll never be able to put it back down. gnome here. He's gonna be having himself a good old time later. Bada bing bada boom. I'll see all of a sudden. Why am I why am I doing this? Oh, I made it to 20%. You see, the virtues of marble are that it doesn't readily absorb heat or moisture. Right, right. Currently, Earl and I are huddled up in a creosote shack, and boy does it get hot in the summer months, cold in the winter. Yeah, I bet. That'd be awful. You want to talk to your buddy the mayor about that. If we're going up in the world, then he can afford to get you a new shack. Right? I remember the mayor. I did not like that guy. He's a bit of a creep. He's a swindler. Not a good man. I did not enjoy doing his missions, that's for sure. I mean, when even the monks don't like you, because the monks are the ones that egged his house. If even the monks don't like you, and are doing stuff like that, then you really screwed something up. Time to reconsider your priorities at that point. He's about to fall off. Hang on, little gnome. I have to clean inside that. That's funny. Oh, we made it back to the beginning. Sweet. I don't remember this one. I did not clean on the other side, so let's do that. All right, let me see if there's any way I can jump up here. Oh, almost. Almost. 
Try again. You can do it. Oh, I jumped over. I just need to do the top of his hat, right? Oh, probably his face too. Let me see ya. Dub dub dub. Got him. He's still dirty. He's looking pretty clean to me. Ah, in his ear. And clean those ears out. Okay, that one was pretty easy. Tough to get up on, I think. Ah, oh, not too bad. It's hanging on his arm, anyway. Make sure we don't fall off. Whoa! Got him. What about you, buddy? bit up top here. Get you. I got you, dude. Whoa. All right. Oh, he's just got just a tiny bit on him. I'll start up here. And that's all of the gnomes, I think. Now, let's see how this floor is gonna go. It did not clean well either. We may just time lapse through this one, so if, if so, enjoy the music. anything. Alright. This 
You're gonna be tough. Let's let's take our extension off. I don't think we need it right here. We might get a little bit more spread this way. See what we're missing here. Not missing anything. It's only for something. Here. There we go. Two sections complete. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.